Slime Pat Pat Nation, it's time to hit the road. Uh, bittersweet day, bittersweet moment. I done did my pre trip. <laughs> Look at the weather, all 80s. But I'm not complaining about the weather when I was here because the weather was nice. It did maybe rain two days, but other than that, everything was perfect. I went to a car meet. Yeah, I enjoyed myself, y'all. As y'all seen, I was off duty for, I think it was 263 or 64 hours. I felt good. Listen, when I take home time, I take home time. All right, now we get ready to cruise over here to the McDonald's. I'm gonna grab me some free ice, some free water, and we're gonna head to pick up this load. And we're gonna talk about the load as we drive along the way. Time not until 8 p.m. It is currently like 4:30. We're gonna back it in over here. We can walk, literally walk right there to the McDonald's. It's a Mexican restaurant right here. But we won't need no food. truck running keep it cool oh yeah I, I don't want to leave home but it's like I'm also ready to hit the road it's like I wish I could have the amount of time that I stay out on the road, I wish I could have that as my home time. And the amount of time that I take for home time, I wish I had that for on the road. Life would be perfect. But it is what it is. Still loving my life. Excuse me. Thank you. Water. Uh, wow, they started charging for water. Water used to be free. Wow. 
Water used to be free. Dang. got like two cups of ice so I can pour one in my bottle no it ain't a Stanley cup but I promise you get it from Walmart and it's way better and cheaper than a Stanley cup I use the key ice in my water bottle and then I have a cup of ice water up here for me to drink people be saying um ice water is unhealthy listen everything in America is unhealthy then got my drinking water i usually have about seven gallons of water with me anytime i come out on the road <sighs> make sure i don't spill it only just put maybe about that much because eventually the ice gonna melt down and turn into water all right so we good with that now it's time to hit the road i need to stop by home because i forgot something so yeah i'm about to stop by home and then we hitting the road uh, goodbye home sweet home why are they still there in the light being green leave off home time at least 98.999 percent of the times i'm gonna be taking a meat load out of north carolina i live around a bunch of meat plants i'm around the sanderson farm i'm around uh is it pedigree i'm around mountaineer i'm around smithfield and some more i think like within like a 30 mile to 40 mile radius so yeah Right now, we got a load picking up at the Smithfield and Tar Hill. It is a dropping hook, but first we have to head over to the Sanderson Farm to pick up an empty trailer and take that over to the Smithfield, drop it, swap it out for my load. Now this load right here is paying $1,654.98 for a total of 672 miles. Not too bad, but also definitely not the greatest but we ain't complaining because this load right here is going to cover my truck payment and all my expenses for this week so i basically you know had home time for about either 10 or 12 days and i'm not in the hole so it's a win-win for me I get done driving 
I be forgetting to go back and comment. So it's a lot of y'all. I do watch y'all videos. I just don't leave comments. So I just may do something real special. Somebody had brought this to my attention about bringing up other like trucking channels in the videos. Every now and then, I do show a little clip of my TV of who I'm watching. But in this clip, I'm about to pop up a few people that I watch on YouTube that's, you know, in the trucking community. If I miss your channel, I'm sorry because I watch a lot of y'all. So I'm about to shout out all the channels that I watch. Hopefully, I don't forget nobody. Y'all should see them popping up on the screen as I'm talking. I watch small channels, big channels. It's, it's a guy. He just started at Prime. He didn't even know I watched his channel, but yeah, I like watch everybody. I support everybody. Whether you just do talking videos, whether you do videos where you showing stuff, I watch your content. But my favorite content is the videos where people talk, especially like no hippies. No hippie trucking helped me through TNT. Because it was a lot of stuff that I learned from his videos. Like when I was in TNT, I would go to his channel and sort his videos from oldest to newest. So I basically watched about all his videos. I watched his whole journey while I was on my journey in TNT. So it's like whenever I first got my own truck, people was telling me, you know, do this, get this, get that. But not trying to be like a a smarty. Um, it's like I had already knew basically a lot of the stuff. It's like I was ten steps ahead of the game just from watching YouTube. Like people can say whatever they want to say about people on that make videos on social media, but little do they know. We all helping out each other because everybody don't know everything, no matter how long you've been in trucking. It's something that a rookie can teach a super trucker, and I'm sure there's a lot of super truckers. After half a mile, right. continue straight ahead onto Owen Drive and then turn right. So yeah, all y'all videos that I have posted up on the screen, all of y'all inspire me. I don't care about the number of subscribers you got. I don't care about how many views you get. None of that matters to me. If I like your content, I like your content for your content. I don't care how you look. I don't care what company you work for. After 1,000 feet, continue straight ahead onto Owen Drive and then turn right. All right, so this is enough talking. The next time now continue I talk straight to ahead and then turn right onto Gillespie I Street. will be pulling up at the Sanderson Farm so we can get this empty trailer and head over to the Smithfield. Please. I hope this trailer now is dry. I hope this trailer isn't dirty and has some fuel in it. Well, it could be dirty because the Smithfield has a washout. After one and a half miles, continue straight ahead. You gonna let me talk? Yeah, I hope it has some fuel. So just like that, we just arrived at the Sanderson Farm exactly where I dropped off an empty trailer in my video where I went on home time. Hopefully they got the trailer that he told me to get. I don't know why I had to get an empty trailer because anytime I've been picking up at the Smithfield, I never had to bring in an empty trailer. They will always let me bobtail in. Seven hours and eleven minutes of remaining drive time. Yep. Tell me to pick up trailer two one five two three six. Two one five two three six. That's a ugly never mind. I ain't even gonna say that. Y'all sensitive on the internet. Why say two one five two three six? Same truck 
trailer I dropped in, I know that trailer is good. There it go, right there. Dang, that's good right there. Perfect. Two, one, five. Bro, what? That trailer got a load on it. Bro, I see you. Five, two, three, six. That trailer loaded. Yeah, trip running the trailer finish doing my checkoffs and everything and then we are out of here the trailer turned on pre-trip came through everything is good all my lights is working wheels look good make sure these lights back here is on yep all right slime pet nation we're getting ready to head out before they come and try to take the trailer from me i see that yard jockey looking Man, once I get past these yellow poles, that's it. I ain't turning back around. So they told me when I get up here to the guard shack, I don't got to get out of anything, just blow my horn. I guess so they can get the uh, trailer number that I got. I guess she got it. So 
so now we got about 15 miles till we get to the Smithfield in a car it would be 10 minutes but in the truck more so like 21 25 minutes Y'all, I'm tired already. <laughs> Once we get over here to the Smithfield, whether the load is ready or not, I think I may just pause my clock there, catch me a little nap so I can be good to run through the whole night the goal is to so the goal is to get through Virginia and West Virginia that's the goal that's always my goal whenever I'm leaving home and I have to go that way is to get through the mountains and then you know just take my time with everything else because today is Monday this load is not due until Wednesday at 11 30 in the morning yeah we can arrive there 12 hours early so i'm gonna get over there and try to park early or really get unloaded early whichever one but yeah i ain't gonna talk y'all head off i'll see y'all whenever i get to smithfield hopefully my camera don't fall it's not gonna fall trailer from because you can sometimes you have to go to this office and sometimes you have to go to this office so hopefully I'm going to the right one so now they're telling me I gotta go all the way back 
to the check-in gate because the load is coming out of Lenny. So, oh my goodness. All right, y'all, we're going to have to end this vlog off right here and split it off into two parts because my load ended up not being ready. My appointment time was for 8 p.m. They told me that the load probably won't be ready until after 11 p.m. But really, the load didn't end up getting ready until hours later after 11 p.m. But that'll all be in tomorrow's video. So we're going to split this up into, I think, two parts. I don't know yeah two maybe three i don't know because i record a lot but but as always thank y'all for watching these videos liking commenting subscribing i appreciate y'all so much thank y'all for following me on facebook and i just thank everybody for all the support and i will see y'all on the next vlog